Welcome back to Arcanum. We are right in front of Adrian, maybe. We are going to talk to him right about now. Good day to you. So, and who might you be? The man in front of you is a wise and old gnome with wildish grey hair and a beard three days grown. He looks up at you grinning toothlessly. Call me Hadrian, acolyte of the Panari and the local expert on church archaeology. How might I help you today? Mm, I'm Mr. Dixon, might I speak with you a moment? Certainly, okay. Let's talk about your work first. Tell me about some of the objects you have here. Which one would you like to know about? What is the glass device? Are they for sale? Wait. The glass device? What is the glass device? We don't have an idea what that is. It sure is pretty though, eh? Um... <laughs> I guess. Okay. Are they for sale? No, no, these are priceless church artifacts. I couldn't part with them for worldly riches. What do you know of the remains of Nasruddin? The remains of Nasruddin, what would you like to know about them? Where are they? They are housed in the old catacombs beneath the temple. The first alcoholite Alexander can direct you there if you have problems finding it. Have you seen them? No, and uh, I'd do anything to see those old bones of his. There are so many questions I could answer if I could only have a look at them. When he died, how he died. I want to know if his skeletal structure is the same as common elves, or if his prolonged use of powerful magics changed him somehow. So many questions, and I've never been able to see them. Why? This is really weird. Why? Why? You're the church archaeologist, surely you... <laughs> yes, you'd think so, wouldn't you, young man? He raises from his seat, gesticulating to and fro. I mean, when the elders need someone to go digging in the dark caverns of the Banjalian Deeps, who do they call upon? Or if some poor fool comes across tomb sealed, a tomb sealed with a Gorgosian blood curse, ring the bell for old Hadrian. But why won't they let you see the remains, Adrian? I have no idea. They speak of desecration and sacrilege, but pff, the man is dead. D-E-A-D, I respect and cherish Nasruddin and what he taught us more than anyone, but I hardly think he'd be upset if I chipped a piece of bone from his earthly shell. I don't know, this is debatable, because some people wouldn't really let you touch a relic to do that, you know? I, I, I see his point, at, at the same point, I see the point, at the same time I see the point of people that go against him, kinda. I myself would like to take a look at them. Really? Are you a fellow archaeologist, my friend? Mm. Oh yes, yes I am. Strictly freelance, of course. Y yes, you do seem... have that particular look about you. Probably a little dirt under those fingernails, eh? Well met. I mean, what interest do you have in the remains of Nasruddin? Well, you know, I'm thinking of converting, but I need a little proof. He looks at you winking, I understand, my friend. Faith is a wonderful thing, especially when backed up by some good hard evidence. I've made a few notes over the years about the sarcophagus, here we are. What do you know, Hadrian? Let's see, standard information, the stories of the local area, there are elven characters naming it as the final resting place of Nasruddin. The design is old elven, consistent with the latter end of the Age of Legend. Rune work is exquisite, although perhaps a bit overdone in my opinion, of course, I'm more of a conservative. But you've never seen inside, has anyone? As far as I know, no one has ever broken the seal on the sarcophagus. Uh, maybe we did when we entered the uh, burial chamber from the sewers. <coughs> maybe not. Interesting. I'd really like to see what's in there, Hadrian. 
It is closer, indicating you do the same. Uh, just how much do you want to see them, my friend? Oh, very much. I see. Look, I'm an important member of this church. My face is well known. I can't exactly be running around and defacing sacred church artifacts. But were I to have an accomplice, we might be able to get in and get out without anyone being the wiser. Uh-huh. The tomb lies within the old catacombs, and the entrance to the burial room is well guarded, but about a year ago I was perusing the pages of one of our ancient texts, and within its pages I found an old illustration of the catacombs, drawn by the first keeper of the crypt, apparently for his own use in navigating them. Okay. All of the connecting passages into the burial room were walled off soon after the discovery. All except for one, there is a passageway which comes up through the floor and it's so well hidden in the stonework that it's been missed all of these years. I've shared this information with no one, you and I are the only living souls who know of its existence. Well, that's fascinating and I think I can see your plan. Good. Here's what needs to be done. Enter the sewers through the grating just in front of the temple. When you've entered, you will be in a small room. There is a crack in the wall. It leads to the old catacombs beneath the temple. Enter them. And then? You will find yourself in a passageway. When it comes to an end, you will see a door in the wall. Speak the word crimson to it and it will open for you. Through that door is a passage that leads to a staircase. That staircase leads to the tomb of Nazruddin. Okay. So this might be different. Is there anything else I need to know? Once you've entered the catacombs, you will see adjoining passages as well. Don't enter them, they are full of dark spirits and other creatures. If you wish to avoid them, go straight through the door and up to the burial room. Alright, thank you, Adrian. My pleasure, return to me with whatever you find. If possible, bring me a piece of the skeleton. I'd enjoy being able to finally get a look at it. Together we'll see what old Nasruddin has to tell us. I'll return when I'm done. You do that, my friend. Is there anything else? Not really. I want to look at these things. Ooh. What? What? Uh. There's an invisible wood chest? Okay, maybe it's behind the wall, maybe it's a glitch or something. Anyway, this case strange houses a strange glass device, a plaque reads strange glass device. Okay. This glass case houses what looks to be a small ovular black stone, a plaque reads the Eye of Krakatoor. Ah, because he was missing an eye. This glass case house houses what seems to be the bones of a finger, a plaque reads finger of Manox. Alright, they are relics. Oh, this might be a conference room or something. Nothing here, it's just storage. Well, let's get in. Ooh, priest robes. Where does this lead? Must be. Okay. Hold there, what business have you here, friend? I'm wondering where this door led to. The door leads to the tomb of Nasruddin. Well, can we go and take a look? I'm sorry, but the only people besides church elders who are allowed to see the remains are Panari brothers and sisters on pilgrimages. And we haven't seen one of those in a long time. Alright. Mm. Hello. What is your business here? I'm here to see... someone? The high priest sees no one except by invitation, no exceptions. So how does one get an invitation? 
Invitations are not got, there is no way to procure a holy invitation. They are only given by His Eminence Grace, now be gone with you. Fine. That was weird. Hmm. Shall we try, instead of going down to the sewers, shall we try and masquerade and see if we can... I don't think I can wear this though, though because I'm I'm a halfling. Yeah, I don't think I can pass as a priest. Okay, so I've tried giving the robes to my companions, but if you are not wearing the pilgrim robes, they don't they don't really Yeah, they don't really react. These are priests robes, not even pilgrim robes. I I've never managed to get past them there must be a way maybe if you're a human or, a, or an elf you can wear that and uh, get past them but I think we will have to go through the sewers again I was hoping to avoid it and do it in a different way because we already saw uh, the sewers entrance <laughs> but maybe that's, uh, that quest is specific to a race or a yeah, determine the race or a determined kind of character. So, where where was it then? Ah, there, yeah, where the where the barrels are. Cool. It's okay. It's close. Ah, well, but we know the word to enter uh, inside of that door. The door that, that required a password. I'm curious. We could go in there and see if there's any loot to be had. And any experience to be made so we can level up and maximize our brawling. So we can go on <laughs> with brawling mastery and then with some burglarizing. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. We are relatively close to endgame, not really, but kind of. Wait, have I, have I gone the wrong way? No, I'm going the right way. Ah. Oh yeah, the story so far. So basically, I think this is very clear, but uh, the Dark Elves um, literally kidnapped the Black Mountain Clan and um, all of them and teleported them to the Void where Aronax was banished and they are trying to get him out by constructing a device and the way the Elves got the Dwarves to be banished is by... Um, is basically uh, they used Mr. Bates and what he did to the dwarves to ban them and to set them against their the other clans. So, oh, I see a Skelly there. So, as we have been told, um, Aronax was. Um, banished um, close to the um, or, or directly in uh, well when he was defeated and banished uh, him and uh, Nasruddin and him were uh, right uh, were very close to the ring of Brodgar and that's also where Stenner reappeared. The reason why Stenner could get out and Aronax could not, as Mingorad has said, is because uh, um, Stenner was not magical. He's a dwarf, he has zero aptitude um, for magic. And for Aronax to be able to cross uh, and escape the void, he needs to go through something that is not magical. So that's why they are, they are building a gate device to get him out. It's a little bit complicated to explain, but... Okay. We said the word. 
Shall we explore the labyrinth? I want to have uh, some fight. Hey, Scallies! Look at them! All perky and stuff. Yeah, that was easy, Sog. I almost finished that one. I do remember something as well. For example, when we were in Rosborough and we were talking with people inside the inn, I think one of the two... There was one guy that wanted us to get the picture of the Wyvern, and then there was another guy that was studying the Ring of Brodgar, and that was saying that the... Um, you know, the wards, I think, that protect the Ring of, Brod of Brodgard were weakening for some reason or another. It might be because of the construction of the device by uh, the dwarves. Hey! Okay. Ooh. It saw you. I'm skipping. There. Nothing to be had here. It might be really dark. It's really dark in my game, I hope it doesn't last too much, because darkness hurts my eyes! Very simply put. Maybe... I'm always poking, oh, poking, hoping they have something on them, like a black diamond or something really valuable that I can sell. So okay, it's just about slaughtering skellies. Let's go this way. Okay. <laughs> oh, dog. Our party is very numerous. I do not have a problem with it though. I hope that eventually um, all the companions have something to say. I don't expect Perryman to have something to say, so I might substitute him. Maybe after Tulla. Maybe. I have no... I'm... I don't really have anything, any plan, a specific plan. Oh, you could give me at least, you know, one chest. Like, you know, with some jewels, a couple of amethysts, I don't know. Chest there, no right. What show, sir? Yeah. 
Do you have something on you? You seem like um, uh, a skeleton. Oh, guys, why are you all stomping onto him? I see you. I see what you did there. Yeah, they picked up something. What is it that you want? You picked up a rusty axe. Yeah, that was not. That was not what I wanted. All right then. Okay, let's move on. Isn't it a little bit weird? Oh no, it's not weird. I was thinking that Hadrian has never seen the sarcophagus, but all the pilgrims, they get to see it. But they only get to see the outside. Hmm? Oh, there, there was another entrance? Oh, yeah. I think uh, when, I, when he was talking about the entrance, I was thinking that he was giving me the wrong indications, but that's because there are two of them. Oh, <laughs> well. So I, I was supposed to enter in here, from here, and then get, get out this way and say the word, not the reverse. But this is where you get access, right? This is the other sewer entrance, alright. Oh no, I thought this led upstairs where the guards were. Oh, here we go. Okay. Ah, now here, if you go up here, you have the guards. Fine, let's not do that. Oh god, what do, what What is the exit? <laughs> oh god. Oh well. I didn't remember that there were two entrances. I don't remember a lot of things from this game, as you have seen. I didn't remember anything about the place of lost voices now, did I? Hey, come on. Up we go. In we go. And now we run towards Adrian. Speed of light. Adrian, Adrian. Yes. Um, I've returned from the crypt. Splendid, come tell me what you've found. I retrieved the skull for you and made some interesting observations. The skull, wonderful. May I see it, please? Yes. Thank you, this is an exciting moment. We will be the first people to lay their eyes upon Nazaruddin in more than 2,000 years. The things we will know. Wait, hold on a moment. What's this? What's wrong with it, Adrian? The skull. You say this is the very skull from the sarcophagus in the burial chamber. Are you sure? Yes, I'm very positive. Whatever is the matter. This skull is not elven. It's a human skull. This is impossible. Well, there were some other strange things about what I saw. What? What did you see? Really? I noticed that the skeleton was missing his right finger, did I? I didn't really, but something was drawn in blood on the inside of the sarcophagus. What was it? You said it was drawn in blood? Uh, I don't know what that symbolizes, nor why it should be there. The word sounds like ancient Panarum, an ancient language uh, used by early church elders. It uh, hasn't been used for centuries, but Gunter Willem is an expert and would know what it means. If it was drawn there by... oh god, they buried him alive? <gasps> oh! Ah, uh, okay, we have noticed that the skeleton is missing a finger. 
maybe if you click on the sarcophagus and read down here you will maybe there is something that tells you that it's missing a finger or something I don't know the skeleton was also missing its right finger its right finger you know what that means oh no it couldn't be oh what are you talking about well, one of the objects I have here is the finger of Manax. Uh, there is a legend associated with it. It was never known if the finger was actually that of the great saint. It would seem that it might very well be. But what does the legend say? Legend tells of a time when San Manox had, had been captured by barbarians. They were plundering the surrounding countryside and were holding Manox, Manox for ransom. He told these people to refuse, so the barbarians threatened to cut off one of his fingers if he didn't comply. Manox calmly picked up a knife, told them there would be no ransom and cut it off himself. Are you saying that the body in the sarcophagus is Manox then? I don't know, good god. Hadrian looks dull, dully out the window, he's obviously in shock. Why? Why would they have buried him in the tomb of Nasruddin? I just... <sighs> Hadrian, what are we going to do? I have no idea, D this discovery, I'm speechless. Two thousand years and no one even ever bothered to check. What fools have we been? Listen, my friend, I recommend you go and speak with Gunther about this. Find out what the message says. I, I cannot be of further use. Okay, I'll get to the bottom of this, Hadrian, I promise. Perhaps this was a stone better left unturned, my friend. It's not every day that one is faced with the negation of his belief. I'm so very sorry, Hadrian. Well, I don't really care, but I'll take my leave. Yeah, that's it, it's, it's very dodgy that these people didn't know anything about this. It's I don't know. Mr. Dixon is not the religious kind of person. I think that if he's anything religious, is uh, maybe I don't know in Arcanum, but maybe halfling, uh, halflings have their own divinities. Um, there is Bolo, certainly. Maybe they have other divinities or other beliefs. I don't really know, but. Uh, I think Mr. Dixon mostly um, reveres the skills of Bolo, but it's not like Bolo has any uh, powers or something. Maybe he's just akin to a god of luck or something like that. Hey Gunter! Um, I've discovered something about the remains of Nasruddin. Ah, welcome back. I take it you have spoken with Adrian. Have you found what it is you were looking for? Yeah, I found something, but I don't know what it means. Interesting. It seems that the proverbial wool has been pulled over our eyes, but for what reason? I suppose it could be that the early church elders believed that an ascension story might straighten people's belief. But at the cost of another man's life? I find that very difficult to believe, but I have found something that I believe may confirm that those remains are false. Except with the... Except the very shady, you know, like uh, witnesses, confessions and such. What did you find, Gunther? Remember I told you I was working on those older translations? I found another passage from it that is inconsistent with the Archeon we read, read today. Have you heard the passage where it talks about the final resting place of Nasruddin? Yes, Alexander told us. Well, today's Archeon reads, Nasruddin traveled to the southernmost tip of the land and there laid himself to rest. The copy I've been translating says almost the same exact thing, except for one slight difference. It reads, Nasruddin crossed the waters and traveled to the southernmost tip of the island, of the land. So, what are you saying, Gunther? I'm saying that I don't think Nasruddin was buried here in Caladon. We have always just assumed that the scriptures were speaking of the mainland, and of course, when the remains were found, no one ever bothered to look again. So where are his remains? The southernmost tip of any land in Arcanum is the Isle of Thanatos, to the south of here. I think that is where you ne next should go. 
I might ask you a favor. If you have the time before you leave, perhaps you could uncover the truth behind some Bannox? There are men here who would be interested in finding the responsible party. Oh wow, you already talked with Adrian that fast? I may do that, but uh, why do you think they did all of this? I don't know, my friend. Perhaps there is something about the actual remains of Nasruddin which they are afraid of. You should seek out his final resting place and there, I think, you will find your answers. I think maybe I've done all of this to affirm the Panarian Legion, maybe. To gain power for the Panari, maybe. Because Nasruddin did not establish the Panari, the Panari established themselves. Well, I will Gunter, thank you and good day, but by the way, um, can I tell you about this message in blood that I found? I can tell you this, the two words in the message you saw, the first means opposite and the second means truth. As to the broken ring, I have no idea. Thank you Gunter, I look further into this. Opposite truth. Opposite truth. Mm -hmm. Let's go talk with um, Alexander. Maybe he has more insight. Hello. I've been uncovering some strange things, Alexander. Really? Just what are you talking about? Let's tell, tell him first about the shady witnesses. This seems to bother Alexander a little. Mm, that is an interesting fact. Perhaps there is something amiss here. Was there anything else? Well, um, Gunter found another discrepancy in the Archeon. It seems like we've all been deceived by my friend. It seems your path no longer lies with us. But if you have the time, perhaps you could look into the message that was written on the inside of the crypt. Return to me if you, will, if you find what it means. Otherwise, good luck to you. I hope you find the final resting place of Nazruddi. Wow, you are surprisingly uninterested in this. The discrepancy being the one of the burial place, or the place where Nasruddin died, of course. I've seen the inside of Nasruddin's script. What did you find? I made some observation concerning the crypt and the remains. Alexander's fists clench when you tell him of Manox. You can see that he's just barely controlling his rage. I see. If you find out what all of this means, return to me. If indeed my fam I mean, the blood of Manox was spilled for some darker plot, you can be assured that there will be retribution. I swear it be my by my life. Was there anything else? Well, the skull is human and not a heaven. This is grave news. Obviously the remains are a fake. If you find out what all of this means, return to me. Was there anything else? Apparently not. Mm. Virgil, do you have some... What is it that you want of me? What can I answer? We need to get to Thanatos to locate the real grave of Nazareth. This is not going to be an easy task, however. The Isle of Death is aptly named, overrun with monsters, if one believes the tales. Okay, so we need to find a way to get there. Well, it's an island, so we need to ask in the docks. But... The strange glass device could be our glass key. 
for the Iron Clan. Oh, I cannot talk to him anymore, really? Oh, not even with you? Well, what should I do? I'm a little bit lost here. 